mascots have become quite reliable since Michael Gutierrez took over in 2014. Since his arrival, the team has never missed the playoffs. But for the first time ever, they can call themselves outright Southeast Yosemite League champs. It's good to see these young men that, as we told them, all the work you put in, it'll pay off. If you do things the right way, if you keep working hard, and you saw it pay off for them Friday. The Scots won a league title in 2017, but it was split three ways with North and South. Uh, it was it was big for us, especially for winning a league and taking it for, for hours and not sharing it. And, uh, it was big for us, and it helps us going into playoffs. And now their focus does shift to the playoffs. The Scots earned themselves a bye week as the number four seed in the Division Three bracket. They'll have the task of taking on Golden West High School when they get back on the field. I mean, as an opponent, we've seen that they're 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 physical. I mean, they're they're not they're not going to be easy to roll over like some other teams we face. Another plus for this team is playing at the Scotland Yard in the playoffs. It's something the school has only done once in Gutierrez's tenure. Yeah, I think it's like third or fourth home game that Highland's ever had here, so that, that's a pretty cool thing for these guys to say they're part of. Coming off seven straight wins, all eyes will be on Highland come November 15th. For 23ABC Sports, I'm Matt Lively reporting.